Welcome to our video tutorials in optical networking. If you are enthusiastic about the exciting and ever-evolving world of information and communication technologies, you will appreciate our video tutorials, which offer the basics of some of the building blocks that make up the life-altering technologies. If you are planning on enrolling in career development courses in optical networking, such as OTT's Kona and Cone, then these tutorials are a good stepping stone. This video gives an overview of an optical communication system and sets the stage for our upcoming videos. Here is a simplified schematic of an optical communication link. Digital signals are encoded on optical waves, which are part of the electromagnetic spectrum, and then transported from the left to the right side of the link. This is a representation of the digital signal that must be transmitted through the link. It represents the data, images, or video that must be delivered to the other end of the communication link. The digital signal is fed into a transmitter unit consisting of a light source, a modulator, and other circuitry. Transmitters come in transceivers that also house receiver units. A suitable light source is required to produce the carrier optical waves. Communication light sources include light-emitting diodes and a wide range of semiconductor laser diodes. The modulator varies one or more properties of the light as a way of encoding the digital signal onto the light waves before transmission. While only the intensity of power is modulated in most direct detection systems covered in Kona, the phase of the light is also modulated in advanced systems covered in the Kona course. The transmission link consists of different components, modules, and the optical fiber, which all perform different roles in transmitting the optical signal. Components and modules may include connectors, couplers, splitters, optical amplifiers, dispersion compensators, and many more depending on the type of network. There are many types of multi-mode and single-mode optical fibers that can be used in the link depending on different factors. The factors include capacity, distance, and the environment the network is deployed, such as on land or underwater. At the distal end of the link is a receiver system consisting of a photodetector, a demodulator, and other circuitry. The photodetector converts the optical pulses into electrical and then demodulates it to retrieve the original digital signal. Detection systems can either be direct, as covered in the OTT Kona course, or coherent, as covered in the Cone course. A communication link typically has both transmit and receive links for bidirectional communications. As indicated earlier, in all modern optical communication systems, both the transmitter and receiver systems are found in a transceiver. I hope you now have a good feel of the many aspects of optical networking. OTT Kona and Cone courses cover all these concepts and more in great detail. Our tutorials cover the basics that can be helpful if you plan to enroll in Kona. Our next video tutorial will focus on how light-emitting diodes work, their properties, and their limited applications in optical networking. Understanding how LEDs work is the first step in understanding laser diodes, which are the backbone of optical networking. If you want to be notified when the next video is ready, please subscribe.